Football doesn't create character, it reveals it. It's uh, in the practice and in the weight room and the off the field stuff that you build the character. So when you are on the field in a game situation, it really, really matters. You can absolutely rely on the, on the player's character. Skill development and athleticism and strength is all stuff that you can work on, but the character piece is probably the toughest part of the whole, whole equation. A lot of kids believe that they have the character that they need to be successful, and they're mistaking that for athleticism. And it's that character part that really, really shows itself during the game. And when your players have good character, they're going to give you everything they have at, in the crucial moments. And, and that's really all you can ask for. Football teaches you way more just about life in general, that you have to have this mental toughness. Because I wanted to like leave after my freshman year. I was like, I don't want to do this. It's too hard. Well, everything you do is going to be hard, right? So if you just if you start, if you start young and you just keep working and keep this commitment to your teammates and to the sport in general, it's just going to help you throughout life. And if you stick through it, you'll create bonds with people that you'll ne you've never will have ever in your life again. Um, most of our coaches here is they're not just coaches. They're almost like a father figure because they help you not just for your sport, but just in life, anything you're going through, any difficult times, they'll set aside their time to help you and talk you through things. And it just really, it really helps you perform better not only in your sport, but in life in general. The linebacker coach, Coach Arbal, he's, um, he's helped me through a lot. He has like a certain philosophy, which is mainly, it's not just life, it, it deals with football, but it's, it's like a life philosophy that football ties into. And just strictly that, that basis line and him, his advice and what he does, what he talks to me about, that's the best thing that he's helped me with. Just keeping focus and philosophy to help with everything. Here, there's a higher standard. You can have all A's, but you have one F, you're ineligible and that's the standard that separates us here, is we hold it to a higher standard. That's why that character trait comes in. That's why we're a school of character. We have the excellence of character and respect. It's not just the same. We live by it. And unfortunately, we've you know, lost some players this year that didn't make the grades and they can't play in the playoffs. And it's, it's sad seeing them around campus. You see the look on their faces, but they understand the standard. But that's why I like Santa Rosa, is we hold the standards high. If you can meet those standards and you can hold yourself accountable and you can go out there and still manage playing sports, because to me right now, playing sports to them is gonna be like holding a job when they're in college. So I I feel like this is teaching the foundation for the students so when they go out and become an adult they're ready to take on those challenges because they've dealt with it here. The teachers that they bring here they're always you know so caring and kind and want to help you they have always had their tutoring hours you know if you can't make it they you know maybe let you come in for lunch or something so I think the teachers definitely have fun with that. But. You're a part of the student populace you still have to be a student do what you need to do and you're actually held to a higher standard because people look, look up to you. So every time anyone uh, has a mess up uh, in school or even a football, they're accountable. They say, hey, you need to get this right or, or you're going to have some problems with, with the team and teachers as well. The biggest thing uh, for Santa Rosa is the help that not only just one teacher will give you, like even if you are in math, you have other teachers that will help you through everything. Like even just balancing, like if you need extra help on things, just like They'll give you time no matter what, like they're very helpful in the, that way and it gives you a sense of like peace, um, they don't have to stress about it if you have practice or something. When we first started going to CIF uh, four years ago, we were getting blown out. We, we didn't even have a chance and uh, so we did two years where we got blown out in the first round and then last year we, our, uh, we got close last year and then we won one this year. So you can see this sort of, uh, this pragmatic sort of stepping up of the entire program. As well as this year, what really contributed to uh, the program's success is we had uh, 17 freshmen where we were able to play actual standalone freshman games. And then we also had some freshman sophomore games. First time in the history of this school where we had enough players to have a varsity team and a frost soft team and then a freshman team. So we're able to sort of have three levels which will contribute uh, to our success as we move down the road.